start the software VK. Go to Tools, then see Net Add-on Manager. Locate Assembly 4 Workbench. Double click and select it to install. Also install Fasteners Workbench if you need to insert screws and nuts in the assembly. Same, double click and see Net Install. It will install the Workbench. Close the Add-on Manager and restart VCAT. Assembly 4 can be used for assembling parts and animations, but the approach is a little bit different. Create a new file. Switch to part workbench. Create a part. Create a cube. It is 10 by 10 by 10 and it is fine. As we create part in the part work branch, there is no default LCS. Switch to assembly 4. Create new part. Because we create the part in assembly 4, there is a default LCS. Go back to parts or branch. Create a chip and the size doesn't really matter. And then move it away from the queue. The default LCS is at the bottom of the tube. It is same position as the origin. And there is no default LCS at the cube. The most common method for creating LCS are using concentric C tangent to edge and inertia CS. So we'll try the concentric first. If there's a circle or circular arc, we can use concentric to create the LCS. Switch to assembly 4. Select the part first and then create new LCS. We can select either the inside circle or the outside circle. Select the inner circle and then concentric. The vertical axis is Z axis. After we create the LCS, we can move it in X, Y, or C directions. If we select revolution, the vertical axis will be the Y axis. If we see the inertia CS, then the LCS is still at the center of the circle. So basically they are the same, even the orientation of the axis may be different. Also we can rotate the LCS around X, Y or C axis. Finish this LCS first. Another common one is using inertia CS, which is the center of the body. Center the part, new LCS.
is in that circle at both sides. And then inertial CS. Change the transparency to 80 and we can see the LCS at the center. Change the transparency back to zero. And then select the part and your LCS. We can use the one surface to generate the LCS at the center. Select the one surface and then inertia CS. Change transparency to 80. Hide the first LCS at the center and you can see the second one. There's no default LCS for the cube. We can create LCS at edge, at the corner, on the surface, or at the center of the cube. Select the plug new LCS. Select an edge and Z tangent to edge. It is at the left hand side and I can move it to the right by selecting the vertex. Make sure the second line at the attachment panel is in selecting mode. Create another one on the edge. Select the part, new LCS. Select an edge. Z tangent to edge. Okay, select H1 and go to map half parameter. Change it to 1 and the LCS moves to the other end. Enter 0 0.5 and the LCS will be at the middle. Type 0 0.25, it is 1 4 from the corner. The map path parameter can be used to control the position of the LCS. If we use an edge and a vertex to create the LCS, then map path parameter doesn't exist. Select the edge. There's no map path parameter here. Create another one at the center of the surface. Select the plug, new LCS. Select the surface and get inertia CS. So it is at the center of the surface. Or I can use the edge to create the LCS at the center. Select the plug, New LCS. Select an edge and also the edge at the other side. Make sure the second line at the attachment panel is in selecting mode. Then inertia CS. The final one for the cube is at the center of the body. Select the plug, new LCS.
views in the two opposite face. And then inertia CS. Change the transparent to 90. And we can see the LCS at the center. If you find this video interesting, please subscribe and give it a like. Thank you for watching.